I'm back and I've got something interesting, I believe. I spent a few days on trying to revive a laptop, actually two, and it didn't work. And it didn't work for that reason. Okay, so have a look at this. Let's pre-record it. What can you see? Can you see this? Yeah. It is so cool, in my opinion, how you can track the hit. It's caused by a shard, and this shard is exactly what I marked it first, and it's in the actual processor. So this motherboard got fried. It's probably recoverable. You can change the processor, get rid of the shard component, then see if anything else is sharded. Doesn't look that way. Yeah. What's very cool is when you actually observe the traces, how they light up. It's like it's breathing. It's like its brain is sending signals. It's like it's alive and it's a it's a motherboard. <laughs> but it looks alive. You can see those traces there. This power supply there. The max temperature is jumping to 108 degrees. The trace gets only 80. This power supply, boom, 100, 100. That's crazy. This is why what, what I love about. EC001, the thermal camera, you can see exactly what's going on. So have a look at the heatsink, how nicely does it take away all the heat from that processor and transfers it to the actual heatsink. Pins so it can get chilled out by the air passing from the actual motor is fun. You can see across here, it's actually hard to measure this plane because of that one spot, one darker spot, which is 67.2 degrees. I don't know why it's there, but still, you can clearly see the temperature on the actual processor is higher than on those fins. So on the left-hand side of the screen, here we've got 76, almost 77, and on the fins we've got 74. The motor is spinning and the motor is blowing. But what's interesting is that dot that is flashing under the heatsink. You can see it through heatsink as it bumps up to 89 degrees sometimes. 
this is nuts as well you can see power supply on the right hand side of that circuit as it's constantly at 60 degrees and you can see on the top where it's like 60 70 60 70 uh, that little point is actually the um, power management chip very tiny device only six legs so it's it's crazy now we have swapped to another one like because like I, I had two and you can see how when we apply power you can see pch it's at normal temperature at 34 yeah you can see it's even less than 34 because the pch is that square on the right and the minute we apply power boom it's one spot on the actual processor on the die itself so something is shorted inside it's lighting up taking like shit tons of current <laughs> and heating up straight away and uh, that's why you can't do anything that's why it's uh it's shutting off because it detects the drop in the actual voltages and too much current being drawn and temperatures rising beyond what they're supposed to so your IO, your chip responsible for handling all of that information knows that there is something going on and it doesn't allow and that's a very good design my opinion but this should kick in a bit quicker so it never gets to that stage this is this is too far gone to invest time to fix it, especially that the processor itself costs a lot of money so to change it you have to fork out this money and then you need to have appropriate equipment and knowledge and experience to do so. Space, time, all of that. But it is very interesting to see how those two power supplies light up and they, they can handle the power look. They are only at 30 degrees. But the back of this motherboard is getting to 40 something degrees, which is crazy. now back to the beginning of the video can you see this spot it's like it's still alive it's like you know human that hasn't got any brain activity that's what they say because there have been a couple of cases when people with no brain activity actually woke up including a small boy Walk up and was normal, just normal, just crazy. And they were about to switch him off. So just like here, we think it is dead, but it's not. We can swap the part, make it work. We should not give up on people purely because we don't understand it fully. I hope you enjoyed this. This is my best part in this video, this right here. When you can see those traces that supply the power to that specific place on this CPU are lighting up like a Christmas tree. And this is beautiful. It's like blood pumping to your brain. I'm mesmerized. <laughs> anyway, I thought I was going to share this with you. If you liked it, please consider subscribing, liking the video, leave me a comment of any sort 
What do you think about that? I think the parts should be made available for cheaper to fix that. Yeah, that's what I think. Thank you for watching. Spending time with me. I appreciate it. Till the next one.